uh, when I was a kid, my father would take us to the Flint Public Library every Saturday, and we just about lived in the children's section. Then, uh, in my early 40s, when I decided to become, become a writer, I was naturally drawn to the library to write, and that's where all of my books are written. Uh, I go to the library to write. I, I, there's something about the energy there that that I love and just makes me feel very good and very at home. When I had written my first book, the first person to read it was a librarian that worked uh, at the public library. And I gave it to her and, you know, they didn't know, I didn't know I was a writer, they didn't know I was a writer, and she very kindly read it. And uh, a couple days later, she came back in and she walked up to me and she was crying. And she said, I just love the book. And that just, uh, that really touched me. You know, libraries and librarians have always been very special. Where else can you go and you get somebody who loves books and who is very knowledgeable about books and you can ask them anything about what type of book you think a, a young person would like or, or an adult would like and they know just like that. Uh, you don't get that in bookstores. I don't care how personal the bookstore is, the librarian knows much more. It has much more uh, resources at her fingertips. Well, actually, I'm working on two books. Uh, one is the, which is just about done, is called The Mighty Miss Malone, and it's a spin-off of Bud Not Buddy. And then I'm also working on a sequel to Elijah of Buxton. And in this one, Elijah is four years older and actually enlists in the American Civil War.